Hello, humans and future AI overlords. I'm on Microsoft Windows, and I'm using Edge. I'm at Bing.com, and today we're going to talk about text-to-image. Now, I am not a very creative person. I mean, it's a big weakness of mine. Um, it's something I always wish I, I had. I, I tried drawing as a kid. I tried painting as a kid. I tried music, various instruments. You know, creativity was something that just seemed really outside my reach, outside my skill set, outside my, uh, you know, capabilities. Uh, but the AI is giving us so many incredible capabilities. And in text to image, um, you can create all kinds of amazing things. So I'm here in Microsoft Copilot. Um, Microsoft Copilot uses OpenAI's Dolly 3 to create images for text to image. Um, now, Dolly 3 is incredible, um, you know, and I remember playing with it, you know, a couple of years ago when it came out and being the non-creative that I kind of have always been, it didn't, like the light bulb for me didn't go off. But um, I have played also with Google Imagine and various text to image stuff that Google's done. Um, they've done some recent stuff inside of Gemini and uh, really powerful. But, uh, um, but we're going to play with Microsoft Copilot. And I do want to share one key, very important item that I forget to do often. And that is if you're going to do uh, creative content in Copilot, you need to select GPT-4 Creative. So select the creative. You don't want to use the fast, uh, balanced, or the precise you cannot create images in these other options, or it is, Copilot is reluctant to create images. I have done it in those, but the conversation style, it'll tell you, oh, I can't do that, you know, and then it'll create them sometimes. Sometimes it'll just give you like, uh, like a Bing search image results uh, for what it is you're trying to, to do. So anyway, I just wanted to say, um, so I'm very basic when it comes to text to image. Um, I'm really just have only been exploring this over the past couple of months. Um, but uh, the tips I, I, I think are really important. And this was, you know, for me as a non-creative, you know, um, is to be descriptive. You know, the more specific your language, the better the AI can interpret your vision for what you want to create. Um, now you can cite artists and styles, you know, reference painters and artistic movements to kind of help direct the output. Um, and then um, the big thing to me is experiment. You know, don't be afraid to combine unusual elements. You know, see what the AI creates. You might be surprised. So um, I am, uh, you know, really interested in kind of seeing a little bit more of what uh, I can do in Microsoft Copilot with text to image. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna use voice input um, and let's take a look and see what kind of uh, images we can create with Microsoft Copilot. Create an image of a close-up photo of a butterfly with iridescent wings perched on a vibrantly colored wildflower. I'll and try to create that. that. Nice. Okay, so the voice input, I have to say is stellar. Thank you. Um, Copal, I'll try to create that. Perfect. Um, I like this. Ah, oh, okay. Yes. Yep. Okay. This is kind of what I was, um, kind of what I was imagining. So we have four options here and this is using Microsoft designer. Now you may know designer, um, designer is kind of like this brand of creative stuff that Microsoft's kind of, like how AI is kind of getting bundled under Copilot, a lot of the creative stuff is kind of being bundled under Designer. Uh, but it makes sense, you know, all this stuff is moving from apps to services, being integrated in lots of different ways, it's very cool. Um, you can see, um, it, it, it says I try to create that, you have the ability to like, dislike, you can copy the image, you can export, you can share it, you can search on Bing, and you can read aloud. Um, and then this is the um, description, and it's got the designer um, uh, logo there, and name, and then powered by Dolly 3 from OpenAI. That's pretty sweet. So I can actually click on the image, 
And what I love about it is, I mean, the animation for the creation process is just super cool. Um, all they need is like some sweet music or something like that to it, but I love it. Um, while it's thinking, you know, so you have the back button, you have the copy button, you have the share. You can also go edit and designer, download more information. Um, and then you've got these options here. So there's uh, original, pixel art, watercolor, block print, steampunk, um, claymation, art deco, low poly, uh, origami. So you have these um, basically kind of image filters, I guess. So I'm going to click low poly. Um, so it's recreating the image. Love that animation. So cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's really impressive. Um, so it says it's recreating the image and you've got a visual to kind of say, hey, I'm busy. I'm doing stuff. And then, of course, if you wanted to stop it, you could hit the X. Um, so we've got an updated message working on it. Oh, you know what? Very cool. So this is where you could click looks good and leverage the image from this perspective. Um, but I'm just going to click undo. And then I'm going to and one of the things I thought was really interesting is that when you hover over stuff, it selects it. Um, so if I select the butterfly, it lets me have the option to do like a color pop, which is super cool. Look at that butterfly standing out of there. I mean, that's just sweet. Um, uh, let's see here. So I'm just going to go back and look at that. I kept the update that I, that I, that I did. Um, I'm going to uh, go ahead and let's try another prompt. Um, Create an image of a photorealistic portrait of an elderly woman with kind eyes, her face etched with the wisdom of a century. Sweet. So this is a whole thing like speaking for the input versus speaking when I'm just trying to talk to y'all. So I'll try uh, to create that. So here we go. I'll try to create that. We've got that cool animation going. Um, We've got the description down here. Uh, and then, you know, we've got those additional prompts down here. Oh, wow, this is really cool. Okay, so one, um, one, I love these images. Um, these are really beautiful. I mean, these are really, really beautiful images. I mean, um, let's take a look here. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's just, I mean, that's just amazing. I mean, this image didn't exist, you know, until, you know, we just did the voice input and clicked a couple buttons. Um, pretty amazing here. So let's see here. What would be an interesting, um, let's see here. Let's see if we could do a watercolor. I'm curious what, what effect that'll have on this. And that's the thing about experimenting, trying this stuff out, you know, seeing, um, how your vision for something and the, the, the words that you use to create it, oh, that's really great. I like that. It's, it's watercolor-esque, you know, it's kind of got that look, but I do, I do really like that. Um, that's awesome. That's super, super awesome. So I'm going to hit back. I mean, you can see it keeps the, the option there. Um, so those are some pretty kind of like realistic images. Um, so how about, let's try something, um, more reference oriented. So referencing a style. So let's try this. Create an image of a pixel art rendition of a classic Van Gogh landscape with swirling, swirling stars and bold colors. I'll try to create that. Nice. And it, it corrected my accidental saying the word sterling instead of swirling. <laughs> so I do have to say, AI is teaching me to be a little bit better at using voice input and thinking thoughts a little bit more clearly. Because sometimes you've got to get that content. Oh, wow. Look at this. Um, Starry Night, I remember having like this image like... I think in my dorm room and in like an early, like, you know, apartment of mine, but this is stellar. I mean, this is like really crazy cool. Um, 
I'm just totally, totally amazed by that. I'm going to click on pixel art um, and see if it uh, ups the pixel art aspect of the image. Because um, we asked for a pixel art rendition. Let's see if it double pixels it. Um, yeah, look at that. That's really cool. I totally dig that. I totally, totally dig that. So that's amazing. I mean, I, I exactly really uh, what I was looking for. Um, let's see here. Let's try another fantastical type of thing. Let's do create an image of a blueprint sketch of an impossible machine filled with intricate gears and mysterious components. I'll, I'll try, try to create, create that. that. Okay. You know, it, I like that. I like that just simple response. I'll try to create that. I, I, I know in the past it's, it's said more. Um, Copilot seems to be very, um, you know, typically, oh, okay. Okay, wow. Wow. Double wow. This is like so crazy cool. That's, I mean, like to be honest with me, I'll be honest with you and me, like I, honestly, this is really freaking awesome. Um, look at that, being able to select. So just, um, wow, so that's the original. Um, let me select origami. Let's see what that does uh, to that beautiful uh, blueprint sketch of an impossible machine. Um, interesting. That's so interesting. Um, and I think that's one of the, like, really one of the cool things. Like, oh, wow. <laughs> so, I mean, that's, you know, I think that's a wonderful attempt. Don't really like it. Um, I'm going to try steampunk. It feels like steampunk is the perfect uh, option to add to that image. Uh, but I think sometimes, you know, like, this is that whole experiment, and and even the things that don't go well are still great things to try. Um, so interesting. Okay, this definitely has a, a steampunk vibe. So I'm gonna click OK and let's head back. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty sweet. Um, let's see here. So um, I'm gonna actually try one last one. Draw a picture of a sculpture made entirely of clouds, defying gravity, and casting long shadows in the afternoon light. Now these prompts... I'll try to create that. These prompts, I um, had a conversation actually with ChatGPT about, uh, I'm sorry, with Google Gemini about uh, text-to-image prompt ideas. Um, and wow. Oh, so, you know, what's great about this is that this is that whole, like, you know, how does the AI understand like spatial, uh, relationships and impossible forms this, I mean, and this is where just being, you know, asking for something unusual is amazing. I mean, look at that. That is so, I mean, it's really kind of beautiful like I mean you know it's I mean I had no idea what it was going to create to be honest but this is just you know kind of blowing my mind um, you know uh, I mean and, and, and like this one here I mean look um, look at these shadows here I mean you know they may not be perfectly lined up but they're pretty pretty cool um, this is truly impressive. Um, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm actually tempted to not make any change, but um, let's go ahead and click Claymation for fun. Well, the thing about, uh, you know, this whole world of text to image is it's so powerful. And I mean, oh, wow. Very cool. Yep. That's interesting. I mean, that's very interesting. I, 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 I dig that. I dig that a lot. Um, so we've gone through and we've created some impossible images. Um, we've created 
uh, some referencing, you know, uh, some famous artwork um, in a different style, uh, some photorealistic stuff, and and just you know just really vibrant imagery. Um, and and this is you know like this kind of stuff didn't exist until we put in this prompt, and then it created the image. And uh, and, and I'm I'm just mind blown by the possibilities. And uh, imagine. You know, imagine what uh, what you can build when you've even got uh, more specific ideas of what you want to create. Um, I'm excited to explore the use of Copilot and text to image um, to create things. You know, when uh, you know whether it's at work or personal, when I need that image that just is more uh, custom, um, is more creative. Um, you know, isn't just a Google image search uh, that I've used. I mean. Google image is amazing, you know, you know, searching, you know, I mean, the, you know, the, you know, for images and stuff like that. But, but this ability to create custom images from a few words and for it to be, you know, in many cases, beautiful and inspiring. Um, I'm really excited. And as a non-creative person, I find this uh, to just really be very, very cool that, you know, uh, a few words can lead to, you know, something just... Uh, pretty magical. And uh, anyway, uh, hopefully you uh, uh, learned that, yeah, just one, experiment. Get into a chatbot. Start using it. Start playing with it. Just, you know, create some images and stuff like that. Um, you know, it's it's amazing what you can do. But anyway, uh, thank you for joining me today. Um, uh, I, I hope you uh, learned a little bit of something and just maybe now have an idea uh, that, hey, there's some possibilities here I never thought about in using uh, these different uh, chatbots. And um, that would be amazing. So have a, have a great day and go create something awesome.